Good morning, April the 2nd, new Bitcoin update. This is Bitcoin on the daily. And yeah, after a couple of days of sideways price action, we uh, came down over the weekend. It was a long weekend. Um, and you can see that I have marked out this area, this level of that previous swing low. I will come back to that in uh, my next four hour chart. But first, I'm gonna show you as a reminder, the CME futures chart with that CME gap going down to 63,600 more or less. I mentioned that last week um, as a possibility that we come down for it. Looked far away, but we're now getting pretty close. Now, when I go to the four hour chart in Bitcoin spot, then I want to explain the following. We do have, you can already see here, a green box, but that is for that level. Come back to that later. For now, I do see the following possibility. After that top at 73,000, we did have an ABC down correction, missing to uh, sweep those lows. But you could say this is a one, two, three, four, five impulsive move to the upside. That would mean that we are doing a corrective uh, correction right now. And if you purely look at this chart with uh, this break of the structure over here and here, you expect a pullback into the discount zone that is happening right now or that happened overnight. So we would be good to go up again. And I can also see here this A, B, C would be green box over here lining up with the discount zone. And that would say we are good to go for more upside again after and that would be one two and then three four five but i do have that cme gap here and i do think it would be more likely to see something like this and then filling that gap into this demand zone over here and then up again that's the bullish case and um, if I'm wrong with that move to fill the CME gap, I will wait to see if we reclaim this level, that previous swing low or this previous range high. But I do think it's more likely to see somewhere up here a rejection. <clears throat> so otherwise like this, but if we break above or break above here, then I would look for upside and calling this correction completed. The that is the bullish case and saying that this is the start of a new move to the upside. And this is a, what is called in Elliott Wave a leading diagonal. That's one possibility. The other possibility I can show you better on the daily chart. We have one down, one up and one more down going to 58,000. When I go back to the four hour, that would mean that uh, I do have here one, two, and then one, two, three, four, five. And being an ABC, uh, yeah, so, so A, B, and then one, two, three, four, five. An ABC with five legs in the C leg. And that's always my problem with Elliott Wave. You can always find alternative patterns, and that's why I'm not using it that much and prefer to use it on the higher time frames. But there is a possibility that we do make that move. And that's actually only confirmed if we break below 61,000. There's still a long way to go for that. Um, but yeah, it would also take out these lows at 58. That is the most bearish scenario I have right now. For now, I'm sticking to the idea that we have one, two, with, I do think a chance, a big chance of filling the CME gap at 63,600 and after that going up, but time will tell if I'm right about that. That is my feeling. If I didn't have that CME gap, we did ha would have a good chance of bottom already in here and that we would go up from here, from, from here. But CME gap, is uh, attractive over here to fill and looks to me as a good option that it will happen in the coming days.